Doctors at Marion Regional Medical Center are expecting trick-or-treaters to still go door-to-door -door despite the pandemic this Halloween weekend, so they're explaining how that can be done in the safest way possible. News Channel 12 reporter Patricia Martellotti joins us live in Santa Maria with their advice. Well, this haunted house drive through has everyone dressed in the holiday spirit like these code enforcement officers behind me. Hi guys, how you doing? In fact, I was the only one not dressed in a costume, so I decided to join in the fun with SpongeBob. But doctors are still expecting people to go trick-or-treating this weekend, and they're asking families to take extra precautions. For many, this year's Halloween plans are different, especially when it comes to trick-or-treating. Me and my husband discussed it, and I, for our daughter's sake, we really don't feel like that's a, a good idea. Um, we are going to go trick-or-treating. Uh, we've seen a couple houses that have decorations up, and we hope they have their lights on. But as the coronavirus pandemic continues, doctors at Marion Regional Medical Center want to make sure everyone celebrates Halloween safely. It's important to take some very basic safety precautions and infection control precautions in, in place. And so you want to limit any sort of hand-to-hand -hand contact with, any, with anybody that you may be encountering while you're out trick-or-treating. When it comes to masks, doctors don't believe costume masks are good enough protection from COVID-19. And so it's important that that you wear a cloth mask or a medical grade safety mask, not over or under your Halloween costume mask, because this could cause some breathing difficulties. If you are planning to go trick-or-treating, doctors recommend that you wear a face mask that goes with your costume. If you wanted to use some uh, aerosolized sanitizer over the wrapping, uh, that could certainly uh, be helpful as well. But you want to stay away from any sort of unwrapped treats such as fruits. And if you're going out with other families or friends, maintain physical distance. We always go through all the kids' candy anyways, so we're just going to wipe it down and keep it from them from a day or two and then let them have it. So if you're looking for a safe way to celebrate Halloween, this haunted drive through here at Presker Park continues for the next two hours. Live in Santa Maria, Patricia Martellotti, News Channel 12. Looks like a fun event there, Patricia. I enjoy your mask and just a reminder that county health officials certainly do not want people to go trick-or-treating. It's much more preferable to go to events like the one where you are there. The door-to-door -door contact not advised.